Hey, what's going on, you guys? Josh back with another video for the Tech Budge Group. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. And today I want to talk about and kind of show you guys how I set up these two monitors here. Uh, now, I just bought these, a little small investment. Um, and I guess I'll give you guys an update on what I had previously and what I have now. So previously I had, you know, just a laptop and then I had this external uh, monitor. This is a USB monitor from ALC. Um, I believe it's a 17 and a half inch monitor and you know all you do is plug it in with the usb connector and it pops right up so no extra cables no extra shenanigans right so that was my original setup you know my laptop was around 400 dollars. this was 40 bucks on i think craigslist so i went and picked this up super cheap i got this and everything works perfectly no problems and i absolutely love this setup however i needed some more real estate right i needed a little bit more screen space because i wanted to watch multiple stocks at once and I was kind of realizing that, you know, not being able to watch five, six, seven stocks at a time can really hamper my um, my potential when it comes to getting in at the perfect price. So <clears throat> with that being said, I wanted to make a little investment. You know, it was my birthday about two days ago, so I figured I'd treat myself, right? So I got two more monitors here, right? So these are, I believe, 18-inch monitors, if I'm not mistaken, 17-inch monitors, something like that. So these are pretty big monitors. No, these are 20-inch monitors, right? These are 20-inch monitors. And so these are pretty big monitors. These are really nice. And I'm able to really have a lot more real estate as opposed to using these two. So if I just kind of zoom out here, you can kind of see how much space I have now. I basically doubled, more than doubled the space that I have. So what I want to do is I want to go into the actual uh, monitor here, go into the actual computer and, you know, screen record and show you guys how I set up everything and show you it for this one and show you for that one and kind of talk about why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, now this video, it might help some of you guys out. It might not, but I think it, it can be really useful especially if some of you guys are looking to get Dash Trader Pro, looking to use maybe Sure Trader or you know, Speed Trader, something like that, and you want to have maybe a little tutorial or a little guidance on what you should be uh, trying to look at or maybe get some kind of uh, recommendations on how you should have your setup. So without further ado, as you see, one last time, this is my hardware, you know, mouse, monitors, two monitors up top, and then now we're going to jump into this screen and start talking about what I'm putting on it. So see you guys inside. All right, guys, now we're in the screen here. We're in the platform. And what I might actually do here is, you know, do the screen first and then we'll go to the second screen. And I might be doing something different. Might do the exact same thing. I don't know yet. I'm kind of just going with the flow here because I want to show you guys how I really think about this and how I really set this up. Now, that being said, you know, we're in Dash Trader Pro. And as some of you guys know, Dash Trader Pro is one of the, you know, most well-renowned, most well-known um, trading platforms out there. And for the simple fact is uh, it's the best because not only can you maximize your screen space, but it shows you exactly what you want and it doesn't BS, right? No extra shenanigans. It doesn't show you, okay, well, I'm going to try to make this as pretty as possible. It doesn't care about that, right? All it cares about is getting you the information that you need. You need those charts. You need those scanners. You need all that stuff. You need those montage windows and those time and sales tapes. And it gets you all that while allowing you to maximize your space and removing all the clutter. So, and this thing, another great thing about Dash Trader Pro is that it's not very demanding. It's not very taxing on your PC. So, that's another great feature right there. Now, with that being said, you know, I'm using this extra screen space. I'm using this extra real estate that I now have to watch other charts while the day is going on, right? So my goal here is to have, you know, maybe an extra four or five charts that I can watch on a daily basis. So with that being said, I'm going to add a chart here. I'm going to be able to watch four or five different stocks while I'm watching the one on my, my main PC screen. And this is going to allow me to, you know, not only recognize when stocks are um, exhibiting patterns that I can take advantage of, but it also allows me to, you know, keep a, a bigger eye on the market. It basically gives me four more sets of eyes in a sense, because I don't have to flip back and forth between charts while I'm looking at my, uh, my main screen, right? You know, I want to play a stock, but then another one starts to perk up. So I got to switch away from the one I'm looking at and go to the other one. And then it's just a hassle. So in this case, we're going to sort this out and look at stocks that I really want to mainly focus on. Now I'm going to put a four charts here, right? Go ahead and open this up, chart, and then we'll just do it three more times, chart, and then chart. So four charts here. I'm going to kind of scale them down real quick and just show you guys what I'm doing here because I don't want to cut and pause and cut and pause. I want to show you the actual process of setting this stuff up because I think it's really important that you see and you hear the commentary behind it so you can have a better understanding of how you want to set your, um, your stuff up whenever you do get that to that point. So we move it in here and then we'll move it up from here, right? And then we'll kind of scale it in. Um, we're gonna readjust this and make it all perfect here, but I just wanna get these charts on the screen. Again, we'll pop it up, pop it in, and then we'll just kind of downsize it a little bit and move it off to the side here, right? And then 
one more time. All right, bring it in, bring it up. And then we'll kind of just move it over here. And then we'll kind of start small, scaling down a little bit. Now, all my charts are in here, right? Perfect, everything's great. And I got the, the four charts that I want. Now, I'm not going to use all these charts for a five-minute time frame, right? Because I need to be able to see the bigger picture on these stocks when I'm looking at them. So what I might do here is have all my, you know, go-go gadgets in the middle and then have a, you know, one minute, right? You know, maybe a, maybe a one-year chart right here and then a five-minute chart right here. And then, again, one year, five minutes. So one-year side, five-minute side. And then if I like the setup, I can either come in here and look for the one-minute time frame on my main screen or I could just take a trade based off the five minute chart and I could also just press a couple buttons, which I'll show you in a second and zoom into the one minute, take a trade there. So I think that's what I'll do. Now, the next thing we need is definitely montage windows, right? You need these montage windows because that's how you place trades. And what I'll do is I'll open up two montage windows here, right? And now everything's kind of coming together. We have our montage windows, we have our, um, our four charts that we need. And we've also kind of, Dive, uh, divided it into you know which one's going to be the yearly chart which one's going to be the daily chart now what i want to do here is if you right click the top of your of your window bar you come up with the frame window configuration that's where all this stuff is at if you want to get a little more in depth you hit configure again let's do this one more time you hit config i don't know why this isn't popping up but a lot of these i'll show you on this one actually you open this up you config and you'll get more options here but I guess you don't get that option on these main ones. But what I want to focus on is the no title bar. So this is how you maximize that screen space, right? You go to all these, hit no title bar, no title bar, no title bar. And what you basically do is remove a couple extra inches off of your screen. And it allows you to get a better picture of what's going on here. Now, in this case, we're going to go ahead and size this down a little bit. Try to make everything somewhat symmetrical, right? <clears throat> we'll do the same for here. All right, and what I'll actually do is I'll use these as a preset, kind of like a template for how I want to scale this in. All right, and then we'll kind of adjust it here a little bit. Like bang, move it on back over to where we want it to. And then we'll simply just move this one up, drag it down a little bit, and there we go. <clears throat> right, so now everything's set up, everything looks beautiful. Now let's go and adjust our montage window here. Now a montage window, we can reduce some of the space here. We don't need all this good stuff. So we'll drop it down a little bit, move it over here. All right, we'll do the same for this, right? Just kind of get everything squared away and uh, dress right dress. So move this down a little bit here. And then we'll kind of move this up. What I'll actually do is I'll actually get rid of the, the bars on these as well. So basically every any window inside this platform can uh, be kind of reduced and kind of compacted so that you really get as much screen space as possible. We'll kind of move this out <clears throat> like so. Drop this in here a little bit. And now you see it looks beautiful, right? Everything looks great. Everything's kind of compact. Everything's kind of dress right dress. And what we'll actually do is we'll need one more thing in here. Now, a lot of people don't need this necessarily. Time and sales is kind of a, um, a subjective tool that you can use to, at your discretion. But I'm so used to using it that I, uh, you know, I just have to see it. I just need a time and sales uh, around me, right? Whenever I, whenever I trade stocks, I need to look at the time and sales because that's how I was raised. I was raised to look at time and sales, so I do that. Now, we'll move this in a little bit. We'll drop it down a little bit. All I care about is the time, the quantity, and the price. I don't care about anything else on there. So we can be a little bit more um, discreet when it comes to that. Now, I'll move this down there a little bit. Kind of, again, make it dress right dress. Add one more, and then I'll show you how we make all this kind of connect together. So no title bar again, right? Everything is very compact and flush. Move this down, and then boom, right? So everything looks great, right? We have everything set up now. How do, I, how do I make this work? So if I go to AAPL, right, or AAPL, and Apple pops up, it's not showing up anywhere. So how do I make that work? Well, if you look right here, and this is really important, if you look right here on the right side of your montage window, you see a little anchor. And all you have to do is left-click that anchor, drag it, and drop it into a window. Again, left-click it, drag it, drop it into one of your charts. Now, same thing for your time in sales, drag, drop. All right, let's pull up another chart, all right? HMNY, the big runner that's been going crazy for the past couple of days. Um, take it, drag, drop, drag, drop, drag, drop. And now guess what? Our whole screen is alive now. Everything's moving. So if I were to change this, right? If I were to go to SNCR, right? Now it changes. Everything comes with it. Right? If I were to go to 
uh, ROKU, right? Again, everything comes with it. So with that being said, you're able to really uh, cut down on some time and everything's connected like that. Now, that being said, next thing we need to do is focus on the time frames because I want to make sure I get these time frames right. Now, let's go ahead and do the daily chart here. This is a one-year daily chart. <clears throat> so we can see the trend for the past year. And let's go ahead and break this to the five-minute chart here for the day. Um, we'll actually zoom in a little bit on this so you get a better picture of what the intraday chart's looking like on the five-minute scale. The pre-market, and then we have the, the previous day, pre-market, and then we have today. So we get a better idea of what's going on. And then we can look back out the one-year chart to understand, okay, well, I have some you know, key areas that I want to focus on. Maybe down here, we catch some support. Maybe have some resistance up here, we peak out. You know, So there's our daily chart. That's what we got going on. Now, let's do the same thing for, for HMNY. HMNY, we got the one-year chart, right? This massive run, absolutely insane. And then break it down to the five-minute chart to get a better picture of what's going on here. Zoom in a little bit. Focus on today, yesterday, and maybe the day before. Uh, we'll just focus on these past two days. So there we go. Now everything's set up. Everything's good to go. And what this is going to do for me, right, the reason I'm doing this is that now I'm going to be able to watch multiple stocks at the same time, right? Now I have two extra stocks that I can look at. And not only can I look at them, but I can see the montage, right? I can see everything that I want. And if I want to take a trade on this, right, all I have to do is, you know, enter a price into the share size and I'm good. I don't have to bring it over to my main screen. I could take a trade right from this window, right? So this allows me to see everything, time and sales, montage, see what the bid and ask look like, see if there's any spread going on. And I get to see all that and the chart and everything in this one screen. So this is the benefit of having more real estate when it comes to adding more monitors. Now, with that being said, we're going to jump over to the second screen and we'll break that down uh, next. All right, guys, now we're back to the second screen. And what I did was I didn't want to waste your guys time and you know, show you guys every single time I move it and adjust it. So I just did it real quick and I'm going to show you guys what I have here. Now, this is the same thing as the last screen. Nothing's changed. You know, I have my one year chart, montage window, time and sales tape and my five minute chart. Simple. Going up here, we have our top list, right? And the top list basically shows the stocks that have the most volume on the day. Bring this out a little bit. Bring this out a little bit more. Stocks that have the most volume on the day, the most active, right? And it keeps going down. So it's already, um, it's already configured to do from the most volume to the least volume. So it goes down on the list. If you see 9,000 or 9 million, 8 million, 7 million. So now we have the top percent gainers, LDIX going absolutely catabolic. I mean, this thing is just running. Uh, now we're starting to have a massive pullback here. Let's see if uh, 350s can hold. If 350s can hold, then we can definitely pop and see four. But, uh, you know, top gainers on the day, looks like 350 is doing a pretty good job so far, but we'll keep watching it. Probably another minute or two of, 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 of pullback and holding but anyways I'm, I'm over here doing technical analysis anyways uh so we have you know percent gainers 44 percent on the day ldix again it's up 160 percent cdti 32 percent mark 24 percent or 22 percent uh frsx 14 so you get an idea right now same thing for the losses right we have the losses on the day stocks that are down 36 percent 23 percent 20 percent same thing with these you know another top list stocks that are active stocks that have the biggest gain on the day and stocks that have the biggest losses on the day. Now, if we move over here, this is my high-low ticker. And this this tool right here is, I mean, oh my God, I can't say enough good things about this, right? Not only is it simple, but it shows you exactly what you want, right? And it's able to really give yourself another set of eyes. So even if you don't see it on your scanner, even if you don't see it on, you know, your pre-market, you know, analysis, whatever the case might be, you're able to find it on this. So if you take a look at uh, ILG, you know, new highs on the day. Yep, this thing's making new highs on the day, so it shows up on my scanner. DVAG, DVAX, it's making new highs, right? SHO, making new highs, right? If we go over here to the new lows, BGCP, new lows on the day, right? REVG just popped up on my scanner, on my uh, on my uh, my list here. So again, it's making new highs on the day, and we see this, right? Matt, making new highs on the day. And it shows us the percent change, shows us the last price, it shows us the volume. So when you're able to see all this, you're able to say, okay, well, these stocks are making moves and I can take advantage of that, right? Or I can, you know, I'm able to focus on these stocks and see if I can take a play on it because it's obviously making moves on the day. So that's basically what we have here. I might add something else in here or just condense these two down together and move these up and, you know, give myself some more room here. But you get an idea of what's going on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one more video showing you my hardware and showing you all these screens that are, you know, put together. So you can see how everything looks uh, from my point of view and, uh, and then we'll end the video there so that's basically it for this screen all right guys one last time taking a look here as you can see everything's set up properly 
I have my two charts on my first screen up to the left. Uh, and then I have one more chart on my left screen, I mean on my right screen, uh, on the bottom there. And then as you see, I have my um, top list, my high low ticker, the uh, market clock. And then I have Google down here just in case I want to look up any kind of news or fundamental stuff. Or sometimes, you know, if I'm in a trade and it's going to be one of those long hauls where it might be playing out for two, three hours, I could just watch YouTube or watch a movie, right? So with that being said, I'm able to really pay attention to everything. And I got all this real estate that I can utilize to take profit. So hope this helped you guys out. Hope this video was very informational for you guys. It gave you all some ideas, maybe give you some inspiration for how you want to have your setup placed. So thanks for watching. Uh, go on and check us out in the Facebook group. We are Tech Bud Solutions. You know, we are a free trading group where thousands of traders come together to learn from each other and uh, share some of the best practices and uh, tips and tricks that they might have. So if you're interested in joining that group, all that information will be in the description below. And with that being said, thanks for watching again, guys, and I'll see you all later.